Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com and this morning Nikon USA put up a teaser with what looks to be the future mirrorless camera that they're about to release. So they have a teaser trailer that is one minute and 28 seconds. So I wanna watch it together with you and give you some of my reactions. And then at the end, show you some of the screen grabs that we did that we tried brightening up to see if we can get any more details out of the still images that we grabbed. So let's watch this video called Travel of Light and play. So it looks like we've got some, some light. We're going toward, ooh. Looks like stars just going through what looks to be a lens mount. So you've got light being gathered coming through this lens and this mount. Forming an image is what I would guess out of this. There it is, going through the prism, even though there, there's no prism. You've got riding the rainbow wave right here, skewing it through a lightning storm in space, which doesn't exist, or maybe it does. And then all of the light coming together into an image sensor is what I'm gathering. So all of the images are coming in towards the sensor. It's actually a pretty interesting video that they put together for once here. And that looks like the image sensor. Then you see the, the light in the girl's eye. Now we're on to the back of the camera. Let's stop it right here. Look at this. This is the back of the camera. It looks like you have a pretty large screen, but it's hard to say whether it's a larger than 3.2 or three inch screen because the camera could be pretty small. But you can see the EVF at the top right, or sorry, in the middle. At the top right, on the far right of the camera, it looks like there's a really nice size grip there for holding on to, and it looks like there's a dial. And then as we play a little further, you see another dial on the left-hand side. And in this one, we can see, um, it looks like the live view button, which is a toggle switch, which kind of makes sense because on the back of the Nikon, you have the, the D850, which is what I have right here. You have a toggle switch that goes from stills to video, and it kind of looks similar to what you have on the back of the camera right there, next to an AF on button, and then possibly another top dial, which doesn't exist on the D850. But that EVF is looking mighty large right now. We'll go around to the side of the camera. Boom, look at the size of that mount. And one thing that you'll notice on, on the video right now is that there's no adapter. So this is probably a native lens to go right on whatever this mirrorless camera is. Um, rumors are saying a 52 millimeter 0.9. I, I don't know that that is legitimate, but we'll obviously see whenever this comes out. Now, I don't know when this is coming. All I'm going off of is what I have in front of me that you guys have. So I have the same information that you have right now. And this is just, Pretty, I, I didn't expect them to do this. Now look at the, the left side of the camera right there where the shutter button is. That is, it looks like they've spent a lot of time getting the ergonomics right, which is something that Nikon has always done. It looks like it has a healthy grip for you to hold on to, which is unlike what the Sony's started with at the very beginning. The Sony's feel much nicer in the hands now, but that EVF looks huge and this mount and this sensor looks absolutely big. And it says, in pursuit of light. And that's that, but let's, let's go to these still images real quick. So we, we pulled up the back of the camera. Now, of course, these aren't the greatest screen grabs in the world because we're taking it from a video and then brightening it up, but look at the thummy McThummer thing, thing on the side of the camera. That looks like an absolutely huge grip for you to hold your hand onto and put your thumb there. Um, you can see those other dials I already talked about. We already showed the side of the camera. Oh, another thing on the back of the camera, I went back to this image again, is it, I don't see any buttons on the back. Now, we may not be able to see that right now, and I also can't tell whether the screen tilts out like this D850 or not. I would venture to say that yes, it's probably gonna do that, but I don't know because you can't tell from this. Um, but this looks really good. Uh, big dial on the top left, possibly a dial on the right, though not sure that that is a dial. It could be, it could be an ISO dial or something there. And then the EVF is huge. Just look at the size of the EVF, at least based in comparison to the size of the body. That looks to be like it's going to be nice and large. I'm really looking to Nikon to put a really nice EVF into this camera because obviously with mirrorless technology, the EVF is one of the most important things that you have. This is just showing you the mount and looks like what's going into the sensor. 
of course it's a black hole, you can't really see much there. And then the side of the camera again, you can see that the balance, I don't know shit about balance. How can I tell you how it feels in the hands without knowing the actual feeling of it in my hands? But based off of the balance, the way that this looks, it looks like it's going to be a nice and balanced combination with this lens and this body. I'm wondering if there's going to be a grip. Don't see a grip in this, but again, that EVF is nice and protruded up top, very classic Nikon looking, uh, and the lens is looking sleek. Whatever lens that is, is looking sleek. Another front view, the mount, they're really pushing the fact that that mount is huge. So will that allow us to natively adapt lenses? Probably not. You'll probably need to get an adapter, and I hope that Nikon's coming out with that to allow you to adapt all of our old glass. But this is some big, big, big news. And then Nikon Rumors posted what looks to be an actual photo that leaked of somebody using this camera, and it looks pretty small in the hands right here. Uh, just looking at the lens and the combination, that one doesn't look like, I mean, no, I mean, that, that lens doesn't look like anything I've seen before, but I do notice in this image, you now have a button on the side of the EVF. That button is probably similar to what you see on the Fuji. The Fuji X-H1 has a button on the side that allows you to, to change from the EVF to the, to the back of the screen or do a combination of when you remove your eye, uh, it's gonna have the sensor that turns it off and back on. Um, so, didn't expect to see this when I woke up this morning, a teaser video from Nikon about the mirrorless camera, but this is looking to be real. Actually, it is real because they put out a video and now we can guess about what it is. What do you guys think you see in it? Did I miss something here? Did we miss something in showing you? If, if we did and you see something different, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about it or, or what you think it might be. But this is definitely going to be interesting. It looks sweet. It looks like it's going to fit nice into the hands with a big EVF. Uh, I've been waiting for the Nikon mirrorless camera for a while to see if it's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to leave it there. As soon as there's more information, we'll bring you more videos. Thank you guys very much for watching. Jared Poland, Photo.com. See ya.